Ah, <laughs> uh, those shorts. Um, Whoa! Damn, we go. Uh, sort of the water was always quite good in these. Oh yeah, yeah, game. the water's very really good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had I had a story that I was going to tell from last time. Yes. We we're, were talking about like out. playing the game as children. I remember even like when Benjik Zoo came out. I put the um because I was very young as well, mm. um obviously, um and I had the game on layby at I think it was Kmart one of the one of the local stores, mm. and um I like paid for I can't remember how much N64 games but in that day I think it was about like sixty bucks or something like that. Uh um, yeah, they were some. Uh, which was, they were in pounds. They were like. Because I lived in England back when I was a wee lad. Fucking. Oh, you need to. You might need to jump out, and you need to kind of get him at the right angle so you can get the ginger. Yeah, you just um, you just got in the way. Yeah, that's right. You leave. Um, yeah. So you know, like a reasonable amount of money um, at, that, at that time. But when I went to pay off my layby, I took my pocket money, which was basically like a paper bag full of. One and two dollar coins, and <laughs> oh, shit. the poor, um, the poor layby attendant at the store had to like sit there for five minutes counting out my change. But oh. I didn't really care because I was just like, I was ridiculously excited to get my it's game. Back in the day of fancy computers and shit as well, so oh, yeah. you know, pen and paper and all that junk. That's it. Hey, there's some Dipper's Beach. I'm gonna smack you up, Nipper. Fucking yeah, you do that. Eat this in the face. Fuck. But yeah, no, uh, they were like. I don't know, maybe 30, 40 pounds back in the day? Oh, yeah. That yeah. Go right, yeah. Oh, you bastard. Fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Magically to disappear from his shell. Mm. Um, Let's get more stuff. Then you go inside and he's just gone. Yeah. It's also Dissipated. Like, it's, like a, it's like a TARDIS shell. It's massive. A TARDIS, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking. And he's. Oh, no, he's left his minions. Oh, you fucking... Oh, Man, damn it! You... I got the jiggy by accident. <laughs> I was about to butt slam them. I'm about to die. Fuck you. And oh, that's right. They gave you two you. when you did that. They do. I remembered, luckily, which now means I'm full health. Give me the eggs. Alright, now Nipper has been destroyed. I can carry on with my life. <laughs> we can move on. Mm. Um, yeah, like, um... Treasure Trove Cove was a fun level, and it always just seemed so much like, you know, Mumbo, I know Mumbo's is like the first level, kind of an introductory thing, but um, mm. levels in this game always seemed like very large, um, which was good fun. Um, oh, yeah, for, for their time, for sure. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of the time, like, things would be quite compressed, um, mm. and it was always nice to have a big open thing to, oh, get excited, because... Get my flight. Oh, we can learn how to fly. It's time for yeah. you to fly, chicken. At last, it'll be easy, bog eyes. Yeah, just stand on a flying disc and press A. Sorted. The secret. It's a wonder that it took Kazooie so long to learn how to, to fly. To figure that out, yeah. <laughs> I don't and also that apparently your flight ability is just related to a magic pad on the ground. Yeah. Um, but, you know. We'll pretend. You can't have you flying all over the place straight away. Oh, yes. Now we talk to this guy. Listen to his voice. One one of my favourite things about replaying this game was that I'd be able to hear him talk again because there's something about a character that speaks entirely in Belgian. <laughs> yeah. And there's also like there's the one so he has this kind of like short like and then there's mm. that really long low pitched one that Yeah, like, it's one of the like, few Bruh. that uh, has more than one um, sample to his voice yeah it's not all just pitch bent stuff yeah so you know you can tell that they got a bit excited i'm sure about <laughs> putting some good belches in there um but or had excess belch samples yeah well you know it's um it's it's just good for us like you know oh yeah bop, sure this benefits everyone it is the pinnacle of sound design <laughs> the burp the burp and the punch Oh, well, yeah. The punch is the pinnacle of sound design. Getting that kind of nailing that whack sound. Yeah. Uh, I think his last thing's in here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's only yeah. two. And then he gets excited. And then he goes, yeah, he did, buddy. He did well to run his ship aground where it is. It's quite far, isn't like, it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you would have noticed at some point, mate. But, Must have you know. bounced. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck, 
He was really, you know, he was just... See, this is what happens when you speed. Bad <laughs> things happen. Speeding kills. <laughs> Fuck. All right, I'm out. I'll go give him his gold and he will leave for the remainder of the game. So, sorry for making it so exciting that we found him, but he's leaving literally yeah. maybe a I, minute later. I do apologise, but it is something that actually excites me quite a bit about this game. So. Oh, no, I didn't throw it at him. <laughs> no. Ned's going to dance his jig. Look at him go. <laughs> In the corner. Have this gold for my gold. Woohoo! And and Woohoo! A... Oh yeah, 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 that's another one which we do um, all the time. R Richard and I make that noise like all of the time. Yeah. For for everything, oh, pretty much. Um. Oh yeah. Yum yum. What a um, But yeah, it's like uh, it's probably the. It's probably one of the oh, rare sounds that stuck with us the most, though. Wahoo! Wahoo! Yeah, we do all the time. <laughs> it's stupidly fun to run. I'm not doing a very good speed run ish type thing at this level. I don't remember we, right, when, the layout. Well, you know, we. Neither of us have the ability Fuck. to um, have memorized where you need to go, because there is a very specific um, route to Treasure Trove yeah. Cove, and you need to, like,. A lot of it is just going in one direction and then oh, um, like following it through, but you need mm. to know what to do along the way. In here. Oh, well, well jumped. One thing that was always like out of my abilities as a kid was to jump in there without consistently missing the teeth and getting hurt. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, fucking! No, you won't. I, yeah. I need the the, the bird. The um, chicken. Don't forget, there's oh, like you can get it later, but there is that um, honeycomb around the side of that. Oh yeah, major, yeah, I think. yeah. Um, I'll get that in a sec. Come here, Jiggy. Bloom, bloom. Doo, doo, doo. All right. Uh, so it was like down. It's down on the here. bottom. Yeah. Hey. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Huh. Wah. Too easy. Solid jumping. Platforming. The good old days. That's oh, not a honeycomb. It's alright. Oh, there's a honeycomb in the water. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. That's right one of the in ones the corner. I'm gonna get. Yeah. But I forget which corner. Uh, I think it's thing. over that side, I think, yeah. Because you kind of have to really time it well. Shit, he's there. Up. Fuck. It's alright. You can always outrun. There it is. There it is. No! No! Yes! Ah, oh, too fast for him. <laughs> too fast. Too oh furious. shit! <laughs> no. <laughs> no! And we're back at Nipper. Oh god. Um. That's okay. Any health? Uh, I don't. You can. Oh, you can probably jump up now and do some of the other stuff. Yeah. Um, hang on. I yeah. Get me some notes. Oh yeah. <sighs> um. Oh, I walked past that tree. See mm. those notes. Um. Yeah. Well. Anyway. I was just remembered. I thought while well, I re was singing along to the music of mm. Treasure Trove Cove that um, it's like the Banjo Kazooie music um, has a very it, it's all great music. I'll just start by saying that this yeah. um, this is just nothing but admiration for it. But it has a very particular style which which mm. Grant um, Kirkhope stuck to very well, making it all consistent. But one one thing that's really cool to, as we play through the different levels to listen are how um, taking the basic kind of um, chord... Well, I won't say... It's not like a set progression that he uses, but he does use kind of chord... Um, uh, I would say like a kind of conventional path. Um, Typical he, progression. Yeah, that he used to shape it. So that's one thing that, that differentiates levels, but also like um, the use of instrumentation is a really big thing in, in getting the feel for different levels. Um, mm. And I like how, um, oh, fuck. Uh, you know, he he does a really uh, good job of kind of using um, kind of traditional stereotypical connotations of music, of instruments to certain kind of, mm. um, you know, motifs or locations or themes um, yeah, so without kind of ruining. A good example is what you, list, uh, what you would just listen to, you can't hear it now. Um, was that the theme of this was done with uh, what they called steel drums? Mm. Yeah, which is very much a uh, kind of exotic Caribbean esque sound, yeah. which is trying to get with this whole pirate like yeah. area. Otherwise, we should probably point out you just haven't gone underwater as well. 
Um, but he does keep things like that consistent. So every time you go underwater, you hear the same music of the level that you're in, but the um, the kind of instrumentation of oh. of um, swimming oh. is always the same. Yeah, that kind of like harpy. What is it? Is it a harpy? Um, yeah, harpy yeah. It's head. it's dinging sounds. It's like <laughs> pluck, pluck strings of some sort and other things like that. Um, I think it's harpy because it's a bit too resonant to be typical strings. Yeah. Is that a... Pa- is it's, that a... That's a banjo statue. Oh, no, I don't need that. I'm too good for this. I'm not going to die. Yeah. Um, yeah. And... Let's forget where to go. Oh, there's the X. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. So, well, although there is... This this level um, is one of the early examples of where, like, you do get... Even though there's one kind of overall level theme... You do get areas with different music, and this one, it's not really a different piece of music, but once you get high up enough on the island, then the music disappears and you just get wind noises. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, a, it's a good example of the reactive music stuff we've talked about uh, yeah, uh, for the a good, yeah, more on the podcast. I think we talked about it in Pikmin as well. It's, mm. a, it's prevalent in all the good games. Well, it's a staple of game music design really mm. um, music that changes according to what's happening so the underwater thing you were talking about that's a good example of it it has the exact same kind of thematic material but it uh, just completely changes the instrumentation as going underwater mm. now I'm currently following some kind of quest uh, hey look it's the thing it's from the uh, island uh, stop and swap is it? Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, island that comes up when you... I haven't got any, like, binoculars or shit. Oh, yeah, I'll fly yeah. over to it briefly. Let mm. me go over. It says something on top of it. It just says, um, like, Treasure Island or something on top of it. Uh, some, something yeah. island. Let's get close. Shark Food Island. Shark Food uh, Island. Well, appropriate. <laughs> um, I do remember, like, that That has been the, the, fu- that was the fueling of, like, countless rumours mm. before... Um, I think even before they like officially announced. Well, the funny thing is, like, you'll even notice. I can't remember. Oh. Oh, you need Sorry, notes, I'll bro. get the notes. Get the second. get the jiggy. Um, I can't remember exactly where it is, but you will see later in this game they like already refer to the sequel in this game. But like, of course, at the time, um, you know, there was no like actual official word mm. that there was going to be a sequel, and. Um, there's a big thing that that island was one of the big things where like they reckoned you could. What was it? Un- uh, it was there were these something? eggs, yeah, oh, question yeah. mark eggs, and this ice key in this in Banjo Kazooie that you can find. Yeah. Um, there is a code you can press in in Treasure Cove, in fact. Yeah. That uh, Hard to get. Yeah. Yeah, that can unlock them, and what they were meant to do, like one of the eggs is in the shark food island over there. Yeah. Uh, but what they were meant to do was they were meant to be things that would unlock stuff in the sequel, like mm. as kind of like um, how mod some modern games were. Like uh, let's use Mass Effect as an example. Do stuff in the first game and stuff happens in the second game. Yeah, and third and so on and so forth. That's what they were trying to do, but because of the technology at the time, it just ended up being a, uh, yeah a, a, a load of rumors kind rather of than eggs. being an actual thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was. It, primarily because of that otherwise they would have put it in I do remember reading an interview saying that's pretty much exactly what they wanted to do but they just uh, couldn't quite get it in because you know N64 is kind of lame yeah, well, compared to modern tech I don't see how you'd be able oh, to do it you should get that mumbo token uh, I would <laughs> yes uh. <laughs> uh, I um, yeah but you know it was cool that they were they were even kind of like it was, they tried yeah. to do it and were, you know, really kind of thinking of it at the time. Well, it was really good because it was uh, during the era of non-internet or the internet wasn't really that big a thing. Yeah. Is there a jiggy around here? No. No, but you there's... Can you can there. go up. There's something on the other side, though. I just can't remember if it's of any consequence. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell from here. Um, um, what was I just talking about? I can't talk, remember. Uh, we were talking about... Um, well, we've just been talking about I hardware forgotten. limitations, the console... Yeah, um, there's something. Oh, it's a ginger. Uh, they were thinking about doing the whole like things in the sequel. I forgot. I had something I wanted to say, but I forgot what it was. I'm sure we'll come back to it later. I'm sure we'll remember. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll figure it out later. Whatever. Anyway, I we. Oh no, I'll get to the top of this and then we'll just get this jiggy yeah. and then we'll go. Yeah. 
and get uh, what you need to. Do I need to do that? It's a shortcut, I think. All right, shortcut it is. Yes, it is. Well, hey. Yep. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh <laughs> shit. I should go this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the way. Oh, oh yeah. I would have missed well, those notes as well. Um, See, I was planned it all along. Yeah. <laughs> it is sure. hilarious though. Like it's always. I always find. It, um, don't forget to get the back of the light house too. Yep. Um, it's always a thing where like you prepare yourself for the really tricky platforming bits and nail them, and then you like just walk off something <laughs> without meaning to, and then die. And you're just like, well, well very hard. Um, that's good. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I was, about, I was about to say, like, that doesn't work. Game, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. Do it anyway. You can't stop me. <laughs> right. Stop me, I'm a bear. That works, though. Really yeah. Fluttery thing. Anyway, that's, that's all that's of it. it so now. I will go through here, and we'll see you next time.